using the fetal scalp electrode during labor. One of the most important things that medical professionals want to know during labor and delivery is how well a baby is handling delivery. In other words, fetal well-being. Fetal well-being can be monitored in multiple ways, with one way using the fetal scalp electrode. If fetal well-being deteriorates, then the baby can suffer an injury, with one type of injury being the traumatic brain injury, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So why does fetal monitoring matter? During labor and delivery, a baby, along with mom, is under a lot of stress. From contraction patterns to other factors, this is a stressful process. Monitoring a baby allows doctors and nurses to understand things like the baby's heart rate to certain types of acceleration and deceleration patterns. In addition to A cells and D cell patterns, doctors and nurses can also monitor variability. These things that were just mentioned are important because they go to how well a baby is tolerating a vaginal delivery. If there are problems with what was just discussed, then doctors and nurses can take steps to remedy the issues. For example, mom can be moved on her side. In addition, oxygen can be given or an IV bolus. In situations in which the conservative measures that I just mentioned do not clear things up, an emergency C-section might be warranted. So, now let's talk about using the fetal scalp electrode. In appropriate conditions, using the fetal scalp electrode can help doctors and nurses get a better reading as to the baby's well-being. As just mentioned, this process should only be used under specific medical conditions because the procedure will pierce the baby's skin. The electrode can give a better and more accurate reading as to the baby's heart rate and variability. Although the monitor on mom's belly can give good readings, in some cases the fetal scalp electrode will be used if there are problems assessing the baby's heart rate, among other things. This is Marcus from HIE Resource Place. Thanks for listening.